Getting Excel tables into an HTML ready format. There's probably many ways of achieving this. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a web based application called Tableizer. And then I'm going to do a little bit of editing in Dreamweaver. And so let's get started. I'm going to minimize this. I have an Excel file already open. Um, I have two columns and lots of rows here. So let's pretend like I need to get this information displayed in something like Blogger or WordPress or some other application where I can display HTML content. Um, I have this selected as you can see and now I need to copy it. I'm going to just right click and click copy and then minimize it and I'm already at the in Google looking for Tableizer so if you want to just type that in Google you can do a search for it and I've already found it right there so you can also go to this URL but this is what the page looks like. I just want to just click in here and then right click and then click paste. And um, you have some options you can work with. It's not very many options. That's why I'm going to do a little bit more in Dreamweaver. But uh, to get the HTML code, I just need to go tableize it. Um, sometimes this will be OK with you. If you want to just go ahead and paste this into your uh, into your like blogger, for example. Um, the code is right above it right here. I just need to click in it. It selects it. And then I can go Control c to copy it. And if I was happy with it, I could just drop it right into Blogger or WordPress, for example, and I would have that table as it's appearing in the preview here. But let's say that I want to do a little bit more editing to it. So I'm going to go into Start Programs and open up Dreamweaver. And once I get to the welcome screen, I'm going to click on HTML. I'm going to open up a, a new HTML document. And then I want to switch from the design view to the code view. And I want to make sure my cursor is between the body tags and then just paste that in there. And now I can go back to the design mode and have a look at that. And let me see if I can get the word time left justified. And I'm also going to click on the table and give it a cell pad of five. And then if I click back in, it applies it. Now I can uh, preview this in a browser by just clicking, while well, I'm still in Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver just click F, uh, F12. So I'm going to do that. It wants you to save your uh, Dreamweaver project first. So I'm going to hit yes and just save it onto the desktop. And this is how it's going to look in a browser now. So I just did a little bit of adjustments to it, getting that word time left justified and giving it a little bit of a pad between the cells. So um, that's a really neat way of getting um, Excel information into an HTML format.